raping your, I'm raping your, your, your tender fat mouth. Because you're such a fat fucking loser. With that amount of fat, Copper Cap could sink to any fucking level. <laughs> With that amount of fat, it could float. Do you understand how hideous the attractive you are? Your face cannot relate to the Hey everyone, Copper Cap here. Uh, sorry for the slight delays in daily uploads past few days. I kind of hit a speed bump health-wise, but I'm I'm back to normal for the most part, other than some anxiety. Uh, I'll be fine though. You know, you get through this kind of stuff. But anyway, uh, if you don't understand uh, what this video is, this is kind of something I've never done before, and I didn't even really want to make it. Because it just stresses me out, but I talked to some friends, uh, namely Cameron, and basically he talked me into it, into making this video. So he said that this needed to be, this needed to be done on, you know, basically I went on a stream with Bering and some of his friends or whatever, and they were being really, really mean to me. Now, normally, I mean, whatever, I would just make a rant video, but this was different. They really got personal, and they really just would not lay off. They even attacked Mimo. You know, I mean, attack me, that's fine, but don't fuck with my Mimo. That's where you fucked up. So anyway, I'll put a link to their uh, live stream or whatever in the top of the description. You guys can check it out. But anyway, check out the video. Hope you guys like it. Peace. I asked you specifically, I said in, in Twitter DMs, I said private. Yeah. Mm. I said PRIVATE, BEARING! Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Didn't, didn't, it's and not funny. I, and then I made it public, did not. He's a cunt, he's a cunt, yeah. careful fine. around bearing. Yeah, no, that was awesome. So even after we agreed that our Skype calls would be private, he releases them, and when I come on the stream to get some answers, he just threatens to release more of our private calls, which is bullying, and a betrayal of trust. You know, you know, you know how we spoke that night, and, and we were on Skype a few times, and then I released this, this Skype videos, and you're going to have me arrested and sent to jail on international law. That wasn't <laughs> all of it, mate. There's a lot more. There's a lot more that's really embarrassing for you, and I'm going to release it. Why would you do this though? What point are you trying to make by posting private calls that we decided were not going to be public? I mean, is this all just to embarrass me? To give yourself content so you can get money? You just continue to bully me and then post this video on YouTube of the stream with the sole purpose of making a joke out of me even more, when really, you just exposed yourself to be the money-grabbing bully that you are. Did you see oh, Devin's video about it? Yeah, he called, you, he called you a fat cunt, had a good laugh. Yeah, I saw it! Again, yes, I did see it. Let's see what Devin has to say. I love the lisp. I love the fact that his facial features are all located in one small centralized area of his face. It's surrounded by just a pancake of doughy flesh, and uh, A plus for the plunging neckline. That look is really working for you. And here we have Devin, AKA Atheism is Unstoppable. A person who has had most of his channels banned from YouTube and his Twitter deactivated. Why? Because he's a bully. A bully who has even alienated his own skeptic community. A bully who has doxxed a 14 year old boy on the internet. Who has had his flying monkeys harass anybody who disagrees with him or his beliefs and proceeds to delete anybody who disagrees with him on his YouTube channel. This is a person that went out of his way to block any and everybody who voted Trump after Hillary lost the election. You know. Forget Steve Shives. This racist man-child has one of the biggest block lists on YouTube and Twitter. I mean, until he was deleted, of course. And let's not forget, this is a person who wasn't even man enough to confront Kraut and T when Kraut joined the stream. I mean, Kraut is a fellow skeptic community YouTuber who Devin's been talking an awful lot of shit about lately. Okay, on with the next bit. The only time anyone ever shows their face is when they um, get doxxed. So that's my point. And if you're going to sit there and look, I wouldn't care so much if, is it, if it wasn't people that literally constantly criticize others' appearance. Okay? I mean, all I did was I just pointed out an obvious hypocrisy. I mean, these people go around criticizing others' looks when they don't even show their own faces most of the time. I mean, am I right when I say that they never show their faces? No, clearly. But it's definitely the majority and it's most of the time. 
And regardless, I mean, why are you criticizing others' appearances? That has nothing to do with their opinions and beliefs. Isn't that what skeptic community channels are supposed to do? Is attack people's beliefs, not their appearances? I mean, come on. And also, notice the little laugh that they all do when I call them out on their bullshit. Uh, they don't even like they don't even address the topic that I brought up. They literally divert the topic as soon as they can, and Baring even continues to uh, turn my camera on without my permission, which I really thought was a dickish move. And that's all I'm going to say about that. Uh, yeah. Oh, there we go. There you go. Y'all can piss off. I just turned Cab's camera on for him. I didn't know you could do that. My no. camera's on. <laughs> yeah, it's on. <laughs> Okay. Don't worry about it, copy. You, right. you don't cut my camera on without my permission, asshole! Yes, I do. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. I did. I do. I will. I just find it hypocritical that you would turn my camera on without my permission when you won't even show your own face. You know, I mean, and you know, if I ask you to turn your camera on, you wouldn't even dare do such a thing, right? I don't know. And you know, it's funny, everyone, notice that this is five against one. Remember that, all right? I'm one person against an entire group of people, and they're all attacking me. And they literally do this the entire call. I mean, just the entire stream is them calling me fat and just disrespecting me in numerous ways. I'll even provide a little compilation here. This is just some of the clips. You guys can go watch the video yourself. Check it out. I'm raping your, your, your tender fat mouth. Because you're such a fat fucking loser. Oh, fucking hell. With that amount of fat, Copper Cab could sink to any fucking level. <laughs> 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 With that amount of fat, he could float. So, yeah, I mean, it's a little hard to hear again, you know. <laughs> it sucks to be called names like that. I'm sure, you know, anyone watching this video right now has gone through some sort of bullying in their past, and everyone knows it sucks, you know, even for me. And maybe sometimes I bring it on myself. I don't know. But, you know, it doesn't take away from the fact that it hurts. And, uh, I don't know. It's just like, even this guy that I'm about to have a little exchange with right now, the guy wearing the hat, he says to me, hey, I'm your friend. Can I ask you a serious question? Like, I was legitimately, I, w I would answer sincerely. But he doesn't ask me a question. He just goes to disrespect me some more. I... Why? I don't understand. Like Cap, can I ask you a serious question, my friend? You're not my friends. But yeah, go ahead and ask. Oh, okay. Do you understand how hideously unattractive you are? And for everyone wondering who this guy in the hat and the glasses is, uh, this is Chris Dangerfield. You've probably never heard of him. And there's a good reason for that. Here's this uh, channel trailer. Go for it, Billy. What the fuck was that? And you hide behind masks! Yeah. Can you wipe your camera a bit? You just, you just spat a little bit on. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thanks, man. Cup of cab, I've got a pizza. Try not to attack me through this, <laughs> the fucking screen, you fat gelatinous fuck. What you <laughs> fuck yourself? You, you can't get it. You can't. You can't have it, cup of cab. It's, <laughs> you can try. You look like you look like the donut bandit. Like, there's a there's a train full of donuts fucking headed past you, about to. <sighs> yeah. So even with them like picking on me, I still wanted to stay in the stream because I thought that maybe I could actually pry a real debate out of them, like just to see if I could get them, like to actually talk about some serious stuff. Like it was almost a challenge for me to even talk to them at all because all they were focused on doing was just berating me and calling me names and, you know, just trying to bring my confidence down more. We well, lock it, you <laughs> fat cunt. We just lock it. Hey, <laughs> Mr. Blobby, one question. Would you fuck Sarkeesian? Yeah. Huh? It was kind of hard to hear him at the time over everyone's laughing, but um, what he said to me was, would I fuck Anita Sarkeesian? So... Like, literally, these aren't serious questions. These are just tactics to try and make me look like an idiot. And he's trying to just, I don't know, just, he's just being, an, he's just being stupid for no reason. Like, he's just picking on me, and I don't understand why. I come into the stream trying to have a serious conversation, and everyone just immediately goes to attack me for no reason. I was there defending myself. Anyway, I'm just going to roll the clip. 
Would you fuck so? Okay, don't swap what the fuck just came out of your mouth. Oh. <laughs> Come on, shut up! That, that, was that a load no. of cum? Was that cum? And here we go with all the cum comments. It's alright, it's cum, Copperco, it's alright. Jesus. Well, that's low <laughs> fat, it's diet. Like, you're not going to yeah. put on many calories to become. You don't have to worry about it. There's nothing wrong with having a load of jizz in your, in your mouth, Copper. I mean, I would say it's like being back in high school, but <laughs> even my classmates were more mature than these goons. Shit, it's more like elementary school. Why do you guys are, can, you, can, you, can we actually have a discussion? Are you guys? Yeah, the whole time. <laughs> That's what we are doing. We're having a discussion about the jizz in your mouth and other such things. Yeah. So obviously, with all this agitation and them poking me constantly, I do have a few moments where I slip up and I kind of have a moment of frustration and I lash out. Okay, you would do the exact same thing if you were in my position when you have an entire like five, four or five people. Literally prodding you for an entire stream, okay? And I didn't want to just chicken out and run away, so I obviously go to attack back verbally, which is something that I have been known to do on my YouTube channel, as everybody watching probably already knows. So check it out. It what the fuck? We don't, we're, we're the fucking not right skeptical community. We don't have anything to add to actual conversations. We just say cunt and fuck shit, piss and oh hey, look, you're right. <laughs> Can you can you can you squeeze your <laughs> can you squeeze your titties together well enough to fit a dick between and, and let titty fuck you? Jesus Christ! Shut the fuck did, up! Did you second. did you attack him first or did he come after you first? Uh, no, no, I think I might have attacked him. He he okay. he, he did a video uh, asking for <laughs> questions uh, for a Q and A thing, and, and I left a, a nasty <laughs> nasty question, and so then it, it, okay. it just just spurred from there. Look, he's muted. He doesn't know it's muted. Look yeah. at him. He doesn't Stop know he's muted. <laughs> <laughs> like a fucking yeah, yeah, skin yeah. potato or something. I don't know. Um... And you know, clearly, I'm starting to get more and more upset. Uh, you can even hear me uh, call for Mima in the background because I just had to step away from the camera and the stream because they were really stressing me out. And uh, anyway, so these sharks, you know, as soon as they hear me talking about Mima. They jump on the opportunity to berate me even more when I come back and start calling me names and trying to get me to get Mima on camera. And I didn't think that these people could sink any lower than they already had, but then they proceed to talk crap about my Mima. Now listen, everyone, regardless of how you feel about me, you need to keep me separate from my Mima. This is a whole different person. This is a great person. She is a living legend. She literally brought me in and she raised me as her own when my mom passed away and my dad ran away. Okay. This lady is a legitimate saint and I do not appreciate these people attacking her and bringing her into this. One of them even called her a man. Back Don't mute me on Barry's stream. Come back and give you a titty roll. They muted me. He's telling us to his mama. I was trying to do, to spread positivity. <laughs> get Maymar on to tell us off. Get Maymar on. Fat shit. Get Maymar on to tell us off. Bet you can't because you're a fat shit. Yeah, yeah. Maymar! Oh, 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 Jesus Christ. Please start with me, Maymar. Present him. Present him. She said, she said, please. I was amazed how much then, Copper Cab, you look like your dad. <laughs> you know his dad? My dad. No. I just did. That chap, that chap in the chat, what a nice man he took us to. So at this point, I'm getting more and more flustered, and uh, I'm realizing that these people are not going to have a, you know, decent conversation with me. They're not going to try to. Instead, they're just going to, you know, try to make me out to be some kind of clown, when really they're just being assholes. And uh, at one point, I tried to compliment Baring. Because I actually like his music. Like, I, I, I do, you know. Regardless of how I feel about the person doesn't mean, you know, I can't like his music. And I legitimately tried to pay him a sincere compliment. Even after he attacked me. And even attacked my grandma. You know? Would you do the same thing? Probably not. But I was still trying to salvage what little I could from the stream. To try to give him an opportunity to redeem himself and strike a sincere back and forth conversation with me. And, you know, hoping that when he did that, others would join in the process. But instead, 
he starts out by pretending he's going to pay me a legitimate compliment as well and just goes to attire me some more. Roll it. I, I like, but I like your music. I actually like, oh, I like the music on your channel. Just like oh, I, you and told and me. And I like the last like rap video you put out, except you, you look like a fat loser when you were dancing. Don't like fuck yourself, Billy! Look what happens when you try to actually strike up a real conversation with Bering. Look what he says. How do you, how do you, what do you, you think about fan, Donald Trump? Fan. Shut the fuck up, cunt. <laughs> Broke ass titties. What's he got? What's he got? Oh, what's that? What's that? Women bills to transition into a thin person. He's special. <laughs> I mean, and you know, as this video continues to go on, it seems that these people stoop lower and lower. Not really a surprise there at this point. Uh, so here is where they decide that they want to mute me. And remember, I want to remind you all again. This is like four or five people on one person. And these people have been attacking me the entire stream, okay? And then still, they mute me and they take away my voice. I don't know about you. But if I was a part of the skeptical community, I'd be pretty ashamed right now. Oh, am I unmuted? Oh, I'm. Easy, easy, calm, easy. And again, oh. there you go. Uh oh. What well, crab? Crab? Uh, his cabin crab got yeah. some beef. Are you, are you having a heart attack? I don't. You're right. <laughs> Imagine if you had a heart attack live on your stream, Baron. That'd be, that'd be great. That'd be golden. That'd be fucking, <laughs> that'd be so many views. Oh. <laughs> I mean, do you really think it's funny for someone to die on a stream? Like, is this legitimately how you want to present yourselves to your audience? Like, you think this is cool? I'm not even mad right now. I just kind of feel embarrassed for you. This isn't edgy. Like, not even in the slightest. It's just, it's just gross. He was clutching his breasts. Imagine if you did. Like, you'd get blamed for that. Chrissy Winters would blame you for a couple of heart attacks instantly. Yeah. It'd be fucking he doesn't, he doesn't just dog pile people. Yeah. He gives ginger <laughs> faggots heart attacks. Like, <laughs> yeah. it'd be terrible. I'm actually having chest pains really bad. I'm having, I'm having pains. Okay. <laughs> we'll jump, jump. Oh, wow. jump on the, That's really fucking on. funny! Oh my god! Jump back on the live stream, quick, quick, smart. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh my god! Let me get good to the, the, the fucking live stream. Only... I'm not gonna be a coward if I go out. I'm going out a champion, bitch. Oh. <laughs> oh, 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 oh! Come down. Come down. Uh, oh, 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 cab, come on, mate. If, you, if you really die, I'm not going to give a fuck. <sighs> so anyway, we're at the end of the video. If you guys want to go and watch the raw, unedited version, I implore you to do just that. Uh, I'll provide a link at the top of the description. You guys can go and check it out and see for yourselves what I'm talking about. Which is, you know, basically a growing problem in the skeptical community where these people aren't even attacking their opponent's ideas as much as they're just bringing up ad hominem attacks and attacking them on their appearances and just name calling and it just sucks to see any community on YouTube degrade like the skeptical community has and you know I just I just didn't think that I would be the one to have to call them out on it I mean look at what happened with the whole Lacey Green situation she noticed a growing problem in the SJW community and as soon as she tried voicing her thoughts on the issue her community turned on her now compare this to what happened with Thunderfoot recently in the skeptical community. He saw a growing problem in his community, and as soon as he disagreed with the members of that community, instead of opening up a dialogue, they attacked him and turned on him. So don't rush to Lacey Green's defense and tell her, look Lacey, this is what happens when you try to fight feminism, or you try to open up dialogue with feminists or people that might not agree with everything you say, that they turn on you. Don't use that point to recruit people like Lacey, because you're no better than the feminists that turn their back on her. You know, you like to say, we're the right community. We like to debate issues. We like to talk to people, open up dialogue. But you don't. Or you're starting to not. You know, in reality, you're no better than the people you bitch about.
I already know what's like probably going to happen. A bunch of skeptical channels are going to take my video and chop it up and do their little response that they do, you know, and they're just going to make fun of me. But, or, you know, they might ignore it. They might ignore this video and act like it didn't happen. And that's fine. But it did happen. And it's still happening. And by that I mean the degrading of your community. And it's going to keep happening as long as you let channels like Bearing inspire the community. Until it starts creating channels like, oh I don't know, Joy Sparkles. Look at her. Look what she's doing. I want all of you in the skeptic, skeptic community to Today, Junior, get it out, get it out. You know what I mean? You know, you know, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? I mean. Also, do you like that? Do you like that move? Let's see it again. Let's see it again. <sighs> yeah, didn't think that would ever end, huh? <laughs> I appreciate you guys uh, sticking around. If you've made it this far, uh, thanks a lot for watching the video. Um. You know, I actually did have a great time making this video with Cameron, so maybe I'm, I might make more of these, who knows? Uh, just let me know if you liked it or not in the comments, or leave it a thumbs up. I'm not usually one who would ask something like that, it's just, I don't know, I had a good time making this, and this isn't my kind of style of content, so it's just, it would be cool to uh, hear what you guys think about it. Alright, hope you guys have a great day, great weekend, great week, whatever day it is, and... Take care. Peace.